Hello and uh, welcome to the next video in the Thermoplastics versus Thermosets video series. In this video we're going to be looking at which thermoplastics are easier to recycle. We're going to be covering the seven recyclable numbers and symbols and we're going to be looking at different products made from each of those different plastic or polymer types. So let's jump in and have a look. Thermoplastic recycling. So plastic recycling refers to a process of achieving useful products from waste plastics after its reprocessing or remelting. Recycling is one of the most important actions currently available that provides a solution on environmental and ecological threats posed by reduced oil use, carbon dioxide emissions, and the quantities of waste requiring disposal. There are seven recycling numbers. So plastic isn't as simple as you may think. Each one of them is different from the others. Some of them are reusable and others produce hazardous material after several uses. Some are easily recyclable. Others need more sophisticated and intricate handling in their recycling process. Take your nearest plastic product Maybe the lunchbox you bought from home, your water bottle, your instant noodle cup. Study it closely. You may find a number at its back or on the bottom. You probably already know what it is. The number indicates the type of plastic used to make the product you are holding right now. Here's an example here in this image. This is number five, which is PP. And we're going to have a look at each of these numbers in a minute. So here is a quick table with the descriptions of each of the polymers used or the plastics used and the recycling numbers associated with those. So you would see this recycling symbol on each of the products made from this material. I'm not going to go through each of these, but you can see we've got one through to seven with, for example, three being PVC and the seven, that's the capture all category. Let's go through these in somewhat of a detail. So symbol number one or recycling product number one, which is PET. So PET plastic should be recycled, but not reused. PET is one of the most commonly used plastics in consumer products, and it is found in most water and pop bottles and some packaging. While PET is one of the most commonly used plastics in consumer products, only about 25% of PET bottles in the US today are recycled. The plastic is crushed and then shredded into small flakes, which are then reprocessed to make new PET bottles or spun into polyester fiber. This recycled fiber is used to make textiles such as fleece garments, carpets, stuffing for pillows and life jackets and similar products. Recycling symbol number two, high density polyethylene or HDPE. Now HDPE products are reusable and recyclable. HDPE plastic is the stiff plastic used to make milk jugs, detergent and oil bottles, toys and some plastic bags. HDPE is the most commonly recycled plastic and it is considered one of the most safest forms of plastic. About 30 to 35 percent of HDPE plastics used in America gets recycled each year. It is a relatively simple and cost-effective process to recycle HDPE plastic for secondary use. Let's have a look at recycling number three, which is PVC. PVC is dubbed the poison plastic because it contains numerous toxins which it can leach throughout its entire life cycle. Almost all products using PVC require virgin material for their construction. Less than 1% of PVC material is recycled. 
Products made from PVC plastic are not recyclable. While some PVC products can be repurposed, PVC products should not be reused for applications with food or for children's use. Low density polyethylene. This is number four on the recycling symbol. So LDPE plastics are reusable, but not always recyclable. You need to check with your local collection service to see if they accept low density polyethylene plastic items for recycling. When recycled, LDPE plastic is used for plastic lumber, landscape boards, garbage can liners and floor tiles. Products made from symbol number five, polypropylene or PP. Now PP is recyclable through some curbside recycling programs, but only about 3% of polypropylene products are currently being recycled in the US. Recycled polypropylene is used to make landscape border stripping, battery cases, brooms, bins, and trays. And you can see the products here, which is a typical drinking bottle. Products made from polystyrene, which is number six on the recycling symbol. Now polystyrene can be recycled, but it is not widely available. Most curbside collection services will not accept polystyrene which is why this material accounts for about 35% of US landfill material. While the technology for recycling polystyrene is available, the market for recycling is small. Awareness among consumers has grown, however, and polystyrene is being reused more often. Polystyrene should be avoided where possible because chemicals present in the polystyrene have been linked with human health and reproduction system dysfunction. This is the capture all symbol number seven, which is other. Now this category was designed as a catch all for polycarbonate and other plastics. So reuse and recycle protocols are not standardized within this category. BPA is found in polycarbonate plastic food containers, often marked on the bottom with the letter PC by the recycling symbol or label number seven. So some of the problems with recycling thermoplastics is cross-contamination. So despite plastic recycling remaining to be the best means of minimizing plastic waste, its quality is influenced by polymer cross-contamination, additives, non-polar impurities, and degradation. Recycling of thermoplastics pose many benefits, such as provision of raw materials for manufacturing industry, reduced environmental threats to humans since it is non-biodegradable, minimized incineration and landfill issues, less energy consumption for sustenance, and it's serving as a source for income and providing job opportunities. You can see on the graph on the right hand side here the development over the previous years from 2001 through to 2011. Let's have a look at the economic factors. Economic factors that influence the viability of thermoplastic recycling include the price, cost of recycling compared with forms of required disposal, suitability for specific applications, lack of information about the availability of recycled plastics, and quantity and quality of supply recycled thermoplastics compared with virgin thermoplastics. Let's have a look at more plastic recycling facts. So it takes up to 500 years to decompose plastic items in landfills. 1,000 to 2,000 gallons of gasoline can be saved by recycling just one ton of plastics. Producing plastic products from recycled plastics reduces energy requirements by 66% and over 1,600 business organizations in the US are involved in recycling post-consumer plastic items. Here is a quick chart 
or a flow chart of the thermoplastic recycling process. So we start on the left hand side here where we're looking at the business or home consumption. This is then picked up or you drop it off at a recycling process transportation plant. It's then moved to a plastic storage and a plastic factory warehouse somewhere. It is then sorted into the relevant numbers that we just looked at. Back over on the left hand side here again is cut or shredded or chopped. It's then washed with soap and water so it's clean. It's then packed. It's then transformed into pellets. These pellets then create new plastic products which are sold as recyclable or recycled products. So this system and this recycling cycle works. We just need to be more aware of using recycled material where possible. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects at all in China. For more specialist information, visit our Learning Center page. Here, for example, you can see products that Sophist are experts in. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Sophist, and I shall see you in the next video where we're going to be looking at recycling of thermoset plastics. Thank <music> you.